Good morning, Allison. Kevin here at Schwab's RV World. I'm just going to do a video you were wondering about the storage in this unit. So it is pretty darn amazing, actually. So you do get a, a nice big, you can even put a, have a hanging rod in there. You do get a lot of storage that's just inside the door here with a sliding barn door. Your TV comes out of the countertop right above your fireplace. Now we'll take a look. Your storage under here. The top is nice and deep and the bottom is a little more condensed, but you still get quite a bit of storage there. There's your stove, and you do get a spot for pots and pans underneath there. Up above your stove top, you also get more storage there. There's your dual fuel fridge, of course, kind of standard. And then in your island here, you will get two pole drawers, and they're actually very long. So you get a lot of storage there. And there's all your remotes and your book, and a nice deep storage, and then one more right below that and underneath your sink kind of condensed under there but there's just a little bit of storage there and then we'll walk over to the pantry over here which gives you even more storage so you do get quite a bit of storage in this unit four shelves in there and then over on this side in your dinette these both flip up so you do get quite a bit of storage and that is on both sides it's kind of nice because actually i know you're wondering about the the recliners turning into a bed but that does turn into a bed as well there's a lever underneath here you pull over and you push this down and it goes down like that really easy to make into a bed throw your cushions on top sorry it's taking me a little longer doing it one hand is a little more difficult than two hands so that does turn into a bed as well so Maybe it's not quite as important as having the recliners here. But yeah, these are just recliners. So, very nice recliners though. They do recline nicely right back. And it's just a pole tab right on the side. It looks like a little rip cord for a parachute. All right. Nice big windows. The finishes in here are amazing. You get the skylight. And then, of course, you do have your bunker room here too. So you do get a bit of storage in there. You have your bunk up top there, storage down here, a little bit dark in here. Actually, let's turn the light on. We get the lithiums plugged into this right now, so you can definitely get lights in here at any time you want with the lithiums. That one's not really storage in there, but you do get shelves below there. And then the storage there, and then a little more storage right there. And then, of course, you get your other bunk on this side with another tri-fold couch. So this actually folds out into like a twin bed. So it's nice and big. And then we'll check out the rest of the storage in the unit here. Just because I know storage is important to you guys. And I understand that. Especially if you're staying in it for long periods of time. So you do get... Hey, how's it going? Uh, you do get lots of storage right in here. Let's turn on some lights in here too. Okay. Great storage there. You get a little drawer right there too. And that happens on both sides. As well, you can see you do get little cubbies on both sides with plug-ins. And then there's USB ports against the wall there and then more storage up top on both sides and like I, I'm mentioning in the email um, the USB charging ports those are only 12 volt they don't run off 120 so uh, yeah that's another great option